How's it going everyone? Reckless Yugi here and recently I bought four different grips for the 3DS XL and in today's video we're going to be going over each and I'll tell you which one is my favorite and why. So hopefully you guys enjoy, stay tuned. <laughs> All right, before we actually get into the video, I like to state that what works for me might not work for you. And we all have our own personal preference as far as what we find comfortable. Now to kind of alleviate the differences between us, I like to just go over the size of my hand. I wear a size large motorcycle glove and a size large work glove. And I guess just to do a quick comparison, we could take our 3DS XLs and put the bottom of our palm to the bottom of the 3DS XL and just to kind of easily measure it up. And as you see, my fingers, about the middle knuckle of my middle finger reaches the top. So that's a good indication to kind of see what size your hand is compared to mine. And keep that in mind while I'm going over these reviews so that you can kind of judge whether or not something will work for you or maybe some other product will work for you based on how I feel of it personally. So without further ado, let's get into the first product, which is gonna be the Circle Pad Pro, which is the official product of Nintendo. And I have to say, even though this isn't advertised as a grip, it does provide some decent real estate for your hands to grip onto when gaming with a 3DS XL. Now to attach this to the 3DS XL is pretty simple. All you do is you put in the bottom, push the top until you hear that click and it is in and it is secured. Now it does feel a little loose. I wouldn't really like shake it upside down too much. It might pop off due to the weight of the 3DS XL itself, but it does fit securely enough where it's not gonna move around within the casing. Now, as far as the comfort of it, when holding it in my hand, these grooves right here in the back is basically where you put your middle fingers in and that gives your index finger on the top access to access the secondary buttons that come on the Circle Pad Pro itself, as well as the original left and right buttons that come on the 3DS XL itself. Now, the right button has this because it would be kind of insane to try to reach over here every time to get to that right. But the left here is the one that actually is on the XL itself. And I feel when holding this product, it's kind of a pain in the butt to stretch out your index finger to reach this comfortably. It's not comfortable at all, and it does feel like a stretch. So I think that is one negative thing about this product as far as being a grip, if you're buying this just to have a grip, uh, there are better ones out there, which I'll be getting into later in the video. Now, as far as the real pros of this, I do like the fact that it does offer you two extra buttons. So two extra buttons, as long as the game supports it, as well as this extra analog stick on the right. And that is really cool. And I think the functionality that this delivers to kind of give you more of a, you know, conventional controller feel is there and I do like that but there are some negatives with this the first being that not every game is going to support this so if you find that there's a game that could really benefit from this it may or may not actually support it so that is kind of a bummer and one thing about this is you don't really have access to a lot of the things when this is inserted things you can't access are the Wi-Fi control the stylus or the um, or the uh, infrared port. And one thing to know about this is that the infrared port is how the Circle Pad Pro communicates with the 3DS XL. Now, this won't actually be functional with mine at all because I had the infrared port replaced with this USB connection because this is a capture card I got from Katsu Kitty. But it does work and I did test it out with my actual 3DS XL, which isn't capture card enabled. So this is just a pure stock one. Another thing that's not really good about this is that it requires a battery, which is kind of a pain, is needing a battery just to operate this with the um, 3DS XL itself. What would be cool is if there was some sort of plug that came from this that attached to this AC port of the 3DS XL, and then another, you know, if you needed to charge and play, there was an external port so you can charge and play, and this could run off of this solely. So that would have been, I think, a better design but as far as that, that's the main negatives I find with it. Now, it's like I said, it's not the most comfortable. So this is on the bottom of my list. And the fact that I can't use this with my 3DS XL because it is infrared is also negative, but that's just my own personal negative, not to be taken away from anyone who has a stock 3DS XL. So 
As far as the pros, the pros are very slim. It's not comfortable. It does take away some uh, things as far as you accessing things on your 3DS XL, but it's not hard because it's really easy to take on and off, so it doesn't limit it that much. So that's my review of the 3DS or of the Circle Pad Pro. All right, the next product I want to go over is the hand grip for 3DS LL. And looking at the box, I find it kind of comical because it says fashion, perfect, convenient with a original product 100% guarantee which the guarantee from this product doesn't really mean anything it's just something they put on there as far as for some visual flash to make you want to buy the product over the others and I think they did a good job as far as just I guess presenting the product now I don't know what company actually made this besides it being made in China but it is an okay product and as far as the other features that are on the back it says made of high strength ABS material, product weight is 160 grams, you can listen to the music anywhere, that's a very important thing, and it is also comfortable, nimble, fashion perfect convenience, so the last three are the same that they had on the box, but on the back it also adds comfortable and nimble, so yeah, <laughs> getting into the actual product itself, I find it kind of kind of cheap now it, it does feel okay i think playing with this over just using the 3ds xl itself this is way superior and when you're inserting this into the 3ds xl you just basically do it as the same as the circle pad where you put in the bottom first and then you push in the top until you hear a more satisfying click now this thing is really in there and it's not going anywhere unlike the circle pad pro where it felt like it might fall out and as far as the comfort of this thing, now look in the back here, you can see that it has like these really deep grooves in the back, which could be good or bad. For my hands, it's bad. It's not that comfortable. I don't like holding this. Even though like you have these nice knobs at the bottom that, you know, you might be able to grip on these easier. When you're gripping onto these like a controller, there's no way I could get my finger up here to the left. Like, it's just impossible. So in order to really hold this, I have to hold my fingers in these grooves just to get at the left and the right. So that kind of makes this not very functional, but it does mainly serve as just like a palm rest, I find. So when gaming, you have your thumb on the actual controls and, you know, this, this is how I have to hold this just to be able to use and use all the buttons. So just the fact that it's just this big indention now if it was like more curved and rounded it might feel better in my hands but because of the way they put this it it doesn't to me now some of you might like it because this nice sharp uh angle change like allows you to really like grip it and hold on to it so maybe you'll prefer that but my personal preference is i don't yeah i don't and as far as little features that this controller has is it has this little stand so when you're putting it on a tabletop you can kind of i guess like keep it there as well as just like set it on the desk or your table and then keep your right hand free to use the stylus but it's not very strong it's kind of flimsy and i feel that if i'm actually using it if i'm actually like messing around i could eventually snap it off so i don't really like the build or finish of this it feels very very cheap some other negatives with this controller is you can't access the stylus and that's that's the main thing you can't access is you can't access the stylus and the headphone port kind of feels like a little bit smaller than the circle pad pro so if you have something with a really large plug like those uh kind of more audiophile headphones it might not work with this and you need some sort of an extension with a slimmer plug just to be able to use it with the 3s xl when you have this grip on there so before you put the 3ds xl in here i advise you to take out the stylus or maybe have a separate stylus when using it because getting this out is kind of a pain in the dick like i really hate taking this out because you basically have to use your fingernails to dig in here and the only way i have found out how to do it is like basically uh there's the two outside prongs that are actually attached to the 3ds xl they have these little teeth that fit in there and you basically have to use your thumbnails to push them up while you're using your index finger to pull the 3ds xl out and that's how you get it out at least that's the only way i found to do it easily enough so as far as the pros of this i mean it's better than using the 3ds xl itself 
but there's just kind of too many negatives for me personally as far as it being a comfortable grip now that I have something else to compare it to. So we'll get into some of those and just get this out so I can prepare for the next one is, ah, I, I don't like this at all. You have to be really sure when you're taking this out because if you don't have a good grip of your 3DS XL, if you're like putting this on your thigh like I did and then doing that method, you wanna make sure you don't drop this because I feel that could eventually happen if you do it enough times if you become a little bit careless with it. So that's my review of the hand grip and no, I don't recommend this, all right? <laughs> all right, next on the list, we have the Comfort Grip from Dream Gear. And this grip I think is actually pretty cool. It's more expensive than the others on the list, but I think the feel and finish of this and the, just the idea of it is really well done. Now this has like this nice padded silicone around the edges here that gives you some decent fall protection. So if you do drop it, you don't really need to worry about it making a large bang because this silicone stuff just absorbs it, which I really, really like. And even the ends here, it has at least some protection because one of these corners are one of the popular places for a 3DS XL to drop. And because it has this little uh, silicone here at the top, which isn't as good and beefy as the bottom here, but it still provides something. So at least, you know, there'll be less chances of you breaking if you got it hit up here. But the screen, around the screen and the edges, it, it's really well protected. And anyways, when you're holding it in your hand and you drop it, it's most likely gonna hit one of these four corners than it would on here, or at least on the very top here. So I think that was a consideration. And also when you're opening it up, you can't really put a big thick piece of silicone here because then you won't be able to open or close it easily. So I think the design and the, uh, I guess how they or how they designed this product was really really well done and there is no limitations as far as what you can access with it you can access the wi-fi the stylus you could put a headphone jack here even though it's a small port like the hand grip you can still use a headphone jack and you can access the volume the 3d uh, the charger infrared and game slot so there is no limitations with this so it is really good because you basically put this on which kind of is a little bit of a pain you have to put it on slowly and massage the silicone over the 3ds xl to make sure it fits well don't rush it too much because you don't want to try to stretch out the silicone you just want to easily put it on there nice and slow so that it does stay form and fitted onto your 3ds xl now as far as the feel of it when you're holding it in your hands it feels all right now like one thing i don't like is the fact that since it is silicone it's not very hard when you're kind of like holding it it, it kind of moves around a little bit in your hands it doesn't stay secure like the other grips but that's fine because the fact that it does provide the excellent protection is a huge huge plus and the fact that you don't have to remove your uh, remove the protection from the 3ds to access all the things that the others do kind of block is also another major plus as far as the comfort with it when you're when i have it in my hands the fact that it moves does take away from a little bit but it is pretty ergonomic, I have to say. Out of the three that I showed you so far, with this included, this is probably the best out of those three as far as for ergonomics. I do like the, how this feels in my hand, and I don't really find it uncomfortable to hold. It feels very comfortable in my hands. Now, one thing I don't like with this, though, is up here at the shoulder buttons, when you push the shoulder button, it feels squishy. Like, because it has the silicone over the actual triggers, you, you don't get that satisfying click as you would if you didn't have this over. So like feeling like this with this right here, like having it more naked feels better to me than having to push down on this squishy silicone. I feel that it kind of takes away from the feel, but that's again, my own personal preference. Everyone has their own. So as far as the grip itself, this, this is a very, very nice product. I do like this product a lot because it does offer very, very good protection. Ergonomics are good for a grip. You don't have any restrictions as far as what you can access. So overall, I think this is the best that I've shown you so far. And there's not really too many negative things to say about it. Last on the list I have to share with you guys is gonna be this, which is a grip that came from Cyber Gadgets. And this came in the cheapest looking packaging out of the four. This looks like something you would find in some sort of Chinese black market when you're walking in the back of the room and you're staring at it thinking, 
there's no way this could possibly be good comparing this to the packaging of the others. But surprisingly, this is my favorite grip so far. So we'll get into the pros and cons as far as what I like about this that makes it my favorite. So as far as the fit and finish of this, this is very sturdy. Uh, it doesn't feel like it's going to snap or anything. Uh, I do like the rubberized feel that it's coated with. Uh, this definitely gives it a good solid grip. It doesn't feel like my hands will slip as easy as it would with the hand grip from like the very first uh, two hand grips that I shared with you. Uh, it's, it is, it is it's, just a, it's just a nice comfortable feel and you can see on the back it's nice and smooth and contoured where it actually feels like a true controller in your hand. Now when connecting this to the 3DS XL, you basically have these two points at the top that you insert first, and then you just push the bottom into this little uh, plastic lip here. Now, this point I feel is going to be the breaking point of this product. I don't think, I think this is the weakest part, which kind of sucks. This, this point itself makes me a little wary as far as the durability of it, but it hasn't really affected me too much. It hasn't broken on me yet but I have only been playing with this for a week, so it's kind of too soon to tell whether or not it's gonna break on me prematurely. So to put it in, like I said, you just basically line up the top here with the little divots that are on top of your 3DS XL, and then you just push the bottom in, and then it just fits into the lip. It just kind of hugs that first lip there. So it secures decently okay, like decently enough. Now, when you have it in your hands with the 3DS XL in, it feels, it feels good. You know, you can't really hold it like you would, like how it almost looks like it would, where these would be where you put your trigger fingers like you would with the Xbox controller, uh, because you have to really stretch out to get the shoulder buttons, which I think is too far of a distance to hold it like this. So the way that I've been holding it is I've been using my middle finger and resting it at this point, and then using these two and just kind of curling down here at the bottom where the actual handle grip is. And then this gives me perfect range for my index finger to comfortably press the shoulder buttons. And holding like this, I do like a lot. It allows me to have perfect access to the thumbstick, as well as if I just adjust my grip a little bit lower, I have perfect access to the D-pad. So this feels the most comfortable to me, and I do like this the most. Uh, one issue that this has that is kind of similar with a lot of the grips is you can't access the stylus when this is inserted, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I personally don't use the stylus that much, but if I do need to remove this, this removes so easily. You just basically put your thumb here and it doesn't really take much effort to take this off. So I feel that it's not going to be a, you know, a deal breaker by any means, but like I said, again, this bottom piece is something that I'm kind of worried about, but if it does break, it's not like it's going to be expensive to replace. But my fear is if it does break, if you don't have a good grip on your 3DS, then it could fall on the floor and you could crack the plastic or even worse, actually make it so it doesn't work anymore. So that is one concern I have now. One cool thing about this is the back here is basically a stand that pops out now. <laughs> This this plastic stand, just like the other, it, it feels flimsy, but it does feel more durable because there's more plastic here. So you can put this on your desk and kind of just hold onto the 3DS while you're using the shoulder pad and the thumbstick, and then you could take your stylus and use it. And it, it does okay, but still, this, this feels like it might snap off uh, if you play with it too hard. Now, one cool thing about this, if you are kind of stuck using the actual game disc where you don't have everything downloaded, which you can't really have everything downloaded because not everything's available to be downloaded, you have this port on the back where you could put two additional games. So you could have one actually in your system and two extras in the back. So you don't really need to carry one of those little pouches to, uh, to carry around all your games. You just have this and have up to three whenever you're on an outing and you still want a game with your 3DS XL. So, that is a nice feature that I do like. So out of the four that I showed you, I've already said it, this is my favorite. And just the main reason why this is my favorite is it feels like an actual controller. It feels like an Xbox controller, which I do like, but you can't hold it like you would with the Xbox controller. You have to kind of change up your grip, which isn't actually comfortable. It actually, or isn't actually uncomfortable. It is very comfortable. So, I don't know, it's just, I can't, I can't like rave enough about this. This is my favorite grip and this is what I'll be using from here on out. 
but if you're kind of prone to dropping your control or your consoles or just dropping things in general, uh, definitely use the comfort grip here. Use the comfort grip because the negatives as far as the shoulder buttons aren't enough to take away from the fact that this does protect you from drops. Again, I dropped it and there's nothing. This thing's awesome. <laughs> but anyways, that's my video. That's my review of the four grips that I have. And I didn't see this anywhere on YouTube. So I thought I would buy all four of these just to kind of see which one I like. So if you enjoyed the video, if you found it useful or helpful as far as when you're purchasing a grip, definitely let me know in the comments below. I do love to hear feedback and also give it a like if you did find it helpful. If you think this review sucked, then give it a dislike if you want. Uh, I don't really mind. I do like to kind of see both negative and positive just to see where I was lacking as far as the review. And yeah, that's, that's basically it. If you're interested in any of the products, all the links to each one of these products will be in the description of the video. And that's about it. I'm gonna go game some more. So you guys have yourselves a fantastic day, all right?